If the loser were king, I would have been born on Lonely Street, skinny, stuttering, Catholic student who fed a chocolate, starved myself, laid down on the bathroom floor hungry, stood thin at these ankles and wrists, watched muscular boys running the yard, deported girls curvaceous, big bosomed, loved writing poetry, only way I could communicate. In high school, I knew of a true talent, played soccer, left-footed, made fun of by football players, called me watermelon boy, gathered pails of water, forced to carry it from one end of the field. Cheerleaders yelled out my name whenever I scored a goal. I was a drummer of a band. Teenage girls screamed during the solo. Quietly, I lost my mind, walking the halls as a damn cockroach. Very little fame I had fell into a downward spiral. I recorded myself speaking. It was a creature I heard. I attempted to play with a black girl till I was cool. Walked past her, no smooth talk. So-called homeboys hollering. To them I was a sucker. No good scrub who had it in him. How strange it was then, hugging mother's mannequin. What followed were sessions with doctors, psychiatrists, prescribed pills, suicide attempts, moments in the loony bin. Entered group therapy with other head cases. Met a schizophrenic, nice woman, black fluffy hair, lipstick, but she dragged her leg. Inside an apartment, she displayed machetes, knives on a wall. <laughs> Spent our evenings at a biker bar. Her boyfriend was bouncer. So I saw the college. Felt I belonged alongside leather punks. One afternoon at the lounge, a girl suggested I join her at a disco. This night she was stolid, flirt, miniature Mel in Monroe. She was taken from me, left standing while a thug pulled her away. It was like that with her. We found out inside bathroom stalls, stairwells. She ended up at a place for wild women, walked around, drugged. My parents wondered why I sat on a typewriter on Saturday nights, went for walks all alone, thought nothing sitting with mother at breakfast. It was there I learned how to speak, conduct myself as gentlemen. I started to make paintings, use mother as model. She was confidant, an alternative to the girlfriend from hell. I desired her friends, middle-aged African women. On her 50th birthday, I laid eyes on a blonde woman. She wanted me. This alarming female devil in the middle of winter. She said she would seduce me if I were 10 years older. At the hotel midtown, she did. A married woman wanting a divorce. Our bodies hot with sweat. Touching each other, making love. Snow was pure white. German woman in a fur coat. It was a time of the barely legal. Young girls dated mature men. I was a man in his late 20s. My only friends were teenagers. Together, we played rock and roll in local bands. I was a loner. Black African in a world of geeky white boys, nerdy white girls. Found it easier to fall for artsy white women. Only black woman who loved me died. Needed a place of my own. Spent years living with broken people. Men of the streets, all wanting the same thing. A place to live. Fear. Danger of living with those I did not know. Threatening me. Got a reputation. Smoked weed with boys from around the way. Learned language of men on parole, prostitutes, gamblers, escaped scissor threats, and called to the cops. I have seduced theater women, worked on stages off Broadway. While feeling stress of dangerous men, I became well respected, known for projects with art stars, the avant garde. Models and actresses walked in and out of my apartment. Other men thought I was lucky, but little did they know, all I ever wanted was to be free from scary monsters inside my head.